two biggest defining shoots for me were probably uh, the quarter pipe and the cube pipe. I mean, the quarter pipe was 38 feet tall. And once I got there, it was like, what the hell am I getting myself into? Yeah, I think I uh, started competing when I was around 14 years old. I don't want anybody to tell me what to do. I wanted to go do my thing. I got noticed by Oakley and Poor Boys Productions, and that was like my kind of first taste of the scene. And then the next year, I ended up qualifying for X Games when I was 14. I feel like I was definitely one of the youngest. Always felt like I had something to prove. The first contest I won was in Stockholm, Sweden. Took that momentum, ended up winning X Games that year, and that's kind of when everything just started to... This year will be my 13th X Games. It's insane. I mean, with the Olympics and everything going on. I had no idea it was gonna be where it is today. truly thought I was invincible at that moment and getting older uh, really puts that, but brings you back to reality and humbles you a little bit. Fractured my pelvis in three places, ended up rupturing my spleen. I mean, I should have died. I mean, when it, when it happened, I didn't even think about it. It wasn't even a glimpse on my radar. broke my ankle and both my wrists twice. ACL on my right leg, MCL on my right leg, broke my collarbone, separated my shoulder.
When I was younger and coming back from injuries was no problem. You know, you're young, you, you rebound, and mentally I never even thought about the injury. It was just like, okay, move on. To be the skier that you need to be and put your body on the line all the time, you got to be confident. If you're not, if you go in with any doubt, I don't know how you do it. Hopefully I'll be remembered as somebody that hopefully helped change the game, the skiing in the Olympics, and kind of you know, catapult free skiing to the next level.